Hey guys, it's Mike here with Growing Indoors 365 right here on YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Today, we're going to take a look at what's going on in the grow, a quick grow update. We're going to add some nutrients from my favorite Botanicare. We're going to put in the grow, the base. We're also going to check the pH. In addition, we're going to take a look at what is upcoming for the grow. Some of my ideas, some of the seeds that I'm, lo I'm looking to uh, plant, and a lot more exciting stuff to come. So come and join me on this episode of Growing Indoors 365. All right, entering the grow. Some beautiful lettuce coming up. It's time to start adding some nutrients. As you guys might know, I use Botanicare for my nutrients. When adding nutrients, all you need is your blend of nutrients, in which case I strictly use Botanicare always. You will find the links right down below. If you're interested in maintaining a hydroponic grow just like this, beautiful clean vegetables look at that root system look just look at that root system that root system deserves only the best and the best is botanicare this is not a paid promotion botanicare hit me up hit me up i've been using your product for forever i love botanicare you're going to start out with some base you're going to add a little bit of grow all you need is one of these little uh I don't even know what you would call this. It's a measuring, it's a measuring, not a cup necessarily. It's more like a, I don't know what you would call this. But basically, I measure out right in the half of this thing, okay, about approximately 30 mil of each one of these for each specific reservoir, okay? I already went ahead and checked my pH. If you guys are not familiar with checking pH, let me talk about pH real quick before we go on, okay? This is a pH stick, okay? Basically, you turn it on and, uh, as you would turn it on, it starts to kind of work, right? Uh, once you put it into the water, it'll start measuring the pH. And the pH, what that means is the acidity level of the water that you're currently measuring. This stick is a little out of whack, but I kind of uh, kind of guessed on where the water is based on the, the middle measurements of that. But basically, what you want to do is first check the pH level of your water. Once you add anything into that water, anything right after you actually put your nutrients in your pH might be off balance you're looking for a consistent pH of approximately 6.5 to 7 that is a very nice pH level okay just like our bodies our bodies work on acidity right breaking down minerals foods and so forth and and our body wants a nice neutral environment for our body to thrive what that means is these plants want a neutral environment to soak up the nutrients through this root system. Okay, so after you add anything, your pH will be off balance. Here's my little uh, box that I c consistently use. You got a big bottle of pH down, you got a little bottle of pH up, and all you do is I use this little, this little thing right here, I reach in, grab a little bit of the pH or up, depending on where you currently are after measuring your pH, and you adjust the pH to approximately six and a half to seven. Okay, if you're adjusting your indoor grow pH differently, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. If you love Botanicare and you've been using Botanicare as long as I have, let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for any type of stuff that I'm using here, such as the pH reader, such as the Botanicare, everything is down below, guys. Everything from the lights, to the nutrients, to the shelving, to the tubing, to the pump, even the fan, okay? If you guys are interested in this camera, by the way, this is a real link camera. It is the best camera I've ever used. They are literally scattered throughout my house. Uh, totally off topic, but this is the best type of camera. If you really care, I'll link this video, I'll, I'll link the, uh, the link to this thing down below. I, I, I'm serious, on the exterior of my house, on the interior of the house, uh, I use different setups for the real link. It's the best system hands down. You could use them at different houses across the world, the country, wherever internet's available. You could set one up and get direct access to whatever you see. I mean, it's crystal clear. It's like five mega, megapixels, uh, crystal clear quality. You could zoom in. It's unbelievable. I'm really excited. I mean, these are like 60 something dollars, $65. The exterior set was like maybe like 300. Uh, you could get a solar one that's like 160. But when you get a five megapixel one, it's it's unbelievable. And you can also hear there's a there's a there's a sound element to them where you could turn on the sound and you could actually hear what's going on. Uh, on some of them, like this one, you could actually speak um, in and out. So you could actually hear the person and you could speak to them. 
But anyway, uh, all the links are down below if you're interested. But uh, that's, that, that's basically what it is. In regards to my indoor grow, as you can see here, things are coming along. Uh, but it's not the best because uh, I'm not sure if it's the climate difference. Because right now we're approximately, we're at a higher humidity level of 55% with approximate 69.4 Fahrenheit degree inside the tent. That's not too bad. But I think that my grow is not thriving is because of the seeds that are pretty old that I've used. I mean, look at the, look at the little guy back here. Dead. Straight dead. Okay, some of these are coming along. This was like a variety pack that I've had for so long and I just literally I cleared out all the seeds. I got rid of all the seeds. And by the way, the biggest thing that I'd like to mention is that I just bought seeds. Okay, I bought seeds from a really great place. It's called Seed Needs. Okay, they specialize like literally in seeds. They're organic seeds, non-GMO. Uh, you get like I think I bought like 1,200 seeds. Literally, the link is down below. It's going to be the first link that I've shown you guys. You get an eight pack, and there's 150 seeds in each pack. 150 seeds in each pack. That's 1,200 seeds in that variety pack. And it's so cheap. It's like $12. So if you're ever looking for quality seeds, check out the link down below because that's what I'm using right now, and that's what I'm going to be using moving forward for a little while because I need to get all of these okay I need to get all three reservoirs situated with beautiful heads of lettuce I'm sick and tired of going to the supermarket and seeing little critters crawling around on my lettuce I just hate it I don't know if you like critters if you do like critters keep going to your local supermarket if you're sick of finding out where your lettuce is coming from God knows where across the country across the world I don't know how many times has it been refrigerated I don't know but I am down with just growing my own lettuce. It's what I love. It's what I do. And that's what it's all about. Um, I need my three reservoirs down here immediately. That's why I order the seeds. They're going to be here in a few days. I'll be able to set everything up and go from there. So that's really it. Let me go ahead and pour some nutrients in here. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing and how I'm doing that. And then we'll go from there. And we'll talk a little bit about what I'm going to be adding moving forward. All right, I'm going to start out with a little bit of the base, the Botanic Care base. All I do is literally pour half in. You never want to mix the two when pouring them in. Never mix the two in one cup. And all I literally do is pour it in, and you do a little mixture. You just mix it around just a little bit. Okay, put that back. Now, Actually, instead of doing one or the other, I'll also put a little base in here. I'm actually going to order some immediately because it looks like I am coming to an end on my nutrients. That is the, that's interesting, it's the second time that happened. It's never happened before how it slides like that. Now that I put both in, I'm going to put a little grow because it is time for these to grow. It is time for these lettuce pieces to start flourishing. I am so confused why it's sliding like that. It's never slid like that before. But that's okay. It's really time for uh, new reservoirs, period. Put a little again, as you can see. Just like that. Halfway. Halfway. 30 mil. This whole thing is 60 mil. And you mix it in. And in no time, these beautiful plants will start absorbing those nutrients, the specific minerals, naturally derived, and they'll start to flourish. And that's what we want. We want beautiful, healthy, delicious, thick, headed lettuce. That is what I love. Clean, beautiful lettuce. This lettuce is so scraggly. It is hilarious. I don't even know what this lettuce is. I don't even know what this variation is. I'm not even kidding. I know what these are because I've been growing this one. This this might be the red delicious one because I had a variation of lettuces that I was that I was germinating and I had all these packs that have been they're pretty old. They were like a year old. So, I mean, just just take a look at this variety. 
it doesn't look that great, but overall, I know that these heads will be great. I have no idea. This looks like this like meniscus one or something like that. I'm not sure, but this is a scraggler. This is just weird. I don't even know what this is. This looks like a weed. Like this literally looks like a weed. Um, this one, I'm, I'm, uh, let me let me actually come behind the camera real quick and t and show you this one. I'm almost scared to eat this one. What is this one all about? It's so veiny and sketchy, and it's got like check it out. Why does it have? Why is it kind of hairy like that at the bottom? <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> That's kind of weird. So basically, we had one 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 that's basically done this one is so it's like thick it like feels super harsh like I'm so confused about this one but I know that once these nutrients hit these redheads right here this one this one this one that one that one this beautiful one and these three right here will probably flourish real nice Real, real nice. They're going to flourish really well. Let's once again take a look at the root system. That's what you call a healthy root system. Nice, crystal clear, beautiful, whitely, elegantly looking roots. I mean, look at those things. Jeez. It's almost like, uh, you know, it's like a horror movie. You lift something up and you see a bunch of spider webs. It's almost scary, right? But in this case... This is exactly what you're looking for when it comes to growing lettuce. Look, it's just everywhere, right? Remarkable. I love it. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Real nice and healthy. And I always hate this. Be careful. When you're putting these tops back, just like I was, when these heads are much bigger, all you're doing is chopping lettuce off the sides. And then when you're, when you're cleaning these reservoirs, you have lettuce particles all throughout the bottom here. Because every single time you lift this, it cuts off pieces of lettuce. It's crazy. Um, what do you guys expect out of these videos? Tell me if you like these type of videos, this point of view videos. Uh, what would you like to learn in upcoming videos? You know, uh, I think really, um, this is what I have to work with. I do have, I'm really considering doing just, I just want to do two rows of shelving like this one turned this way just like this another one turned this way this way I could walk in between them I have one here and one here right six reservoirs here six reservoirs here I would have so much wonderful content to discuss with you guys you know we could have different reservoirs focusing on different herbs one entire uh, you know shelf focusing strictly on a variation of lettuces we can experiment with things we can discuss things you know one of my dreams is to really think uh, and not think I'm trying to figure out if I could set some sort of solar panel little little something solar panel that's fairly cheap that you could buy online set it up where I could run that solar panel and run this entire right this entire shelf is it one reservoir is it two? Is it three? Is it six reservoirs and all their all their lights that they need and the pumps? Can it be done? I don't know. A number of you tried to help me before with the solar. I'm super. I'm still very very interested. If anybody from a company that's that's working with solar is watching these videos, you know, uh, there's a there's a there's a my emails in my uh, in my info area. You could simply email me. Okay, it's um, I think it's growing endorsed 365 at gmail.com. That's growing endorsed 365 at gmail.com. So if you if you're in that business and you think that this this setup could benefit and people could benefit, I would love to test that out and then show the people around the world that this could be done because that's super important. If that would almost be truly self sufficient because I mean we still do need water. We still do need water, um, but that would be incredible if we could get an a, a, a energy power source from a, you know, not directly plugging it in, but if we could get it from the sun, plug it in, and basically have this all run from what we acquire from the outside, not having to plug in, that would just be game changing. And that's what I'm looking to establish. You know, I had all these other ideas on creating a beautiful reservoir that goes right on the wall. And it's like it would be it would be a nice looking reservoir that would kind of tilt it would kind of tilt out it would have a small little uh, 
um, like a deep water type of box that held the water and it circulates it through the uh, basically through the um, I don't even know how to like that kind of setup where it, it has the the piping where the the plants would kind of you know stick out of the piping so it's like you have your circulating water and they kind of go through the piping and circle back and it can kind of go on the wall I'm envisioning this great setup like a beautiful hydroponic setup for every kitchen around the world wouldn't that be incredible yes it takes time to grow lettuce yes it takes time to grow any produce but wouldn't it be cool if you actually did grow your own yes it would yes it would beautiful lettuce heads absolutely beautiful hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend June is around the corner guys I can't believe it we are halfway done the year unbelievable unbelievable all right guys well thank you for watching the video uh, make sure to hit the links down below especially that seed video okay a hunt uh, 1200 seeds I think it's like twelve dollars okay need seed non GMO organic seeds right down below that's what I'm going to be using for my reservoirs I am super excited to get everything set up germinated and grow some beautiful lettuce heads and show you guys how I'm doing it every single week okay I think on the next episode I'm gonna surprise you guys I'm gonna buy it and uh, a smaller reservoir we're gonna set up a small reservoir with its own individual pump right underneath the light and we're gonna run one small reservoir with one lettuce head and I'm gonna show you how I build that so stay tuned to the next episode we're gonna build a small miniature reservoir for an indoor grow I hope you enjoy this video guys make sure to give me the thumbs up make sure to also hit the subscribe button I'll wait thank you <laughs> thanks for hitting that button also make sure to hit the bell notification this way every single time I upload a video you get notified nothing else that's all it is you simply get an email notification saying growing indoors 365 has posted a new video Make sure to check me out at growingindoors365.com as well as facebook.com backslash growingindoors365 and our Instagram. It's all listed down below. I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. It's all done to motivate you and teach you that growing inside is achievable and anybody can do it anywhere in the world. Again, this is Michael with Growing Indoors 365. Thank you all so much. I'll see you in the next one.